Hello, welcome. This is Roy Evans from Aspie Chess Club. Um, just like to show you a game that I played on playchess.com. It was a uh, rated game. The playing rate was 7 minutes game plus 5 seconds game per move. I was um, I was black in this game. Uh, I played a gentleman called Aldeod. He's uh, got an ELO of 1509 grading. My grading was 1650. I just like the um, the ending in this game. Um, I think it's quite good for even for beginners, uh, intermediate players, just to have a look at um, how it finished up. The opening wasn't uh, wasn't wonderfully exciting, but we'll just go over it for you. It was a Sicilian. White played an early f4, developing the pieces, finishing the bishop. White squared bishop comes out. This can be particularly dangerous where you can half open the f file and uh, attack this weak pawn here. So I played e6, blunting that bishop. d5, attacking the bishop, exchanging, and the bishop dropped back. But unusual, usually the bishop come out to. Uh, this square here, b5, and exchange against the knight. Seems to be out of play a bit here. We'll buzz through, as I say, the opening is um, not particularly important. White's left himself a little bit vulnerable, probably should have castled here. A queen can come in check. No, he can't castle. He can't play the bishop in. Doesn't want to play the queen in. Just leave the king in the centre. So he plays king to f2. Which actually threatens to bring the rook in here, winning the black queen. So black castles, and the rook comes to e1, and the queen escapes to d6. King moves back to g1. This is always castled normally now. Pin the white knight. Just go over this, as I say, fairly quickly. Black is doubling his rooks onto that file. White exchanges a rook, but now black has got control of the e file. Now, weak move from, from white. He plays the bishop back to a2. Queen comes from a graphic square. In fact, he's just taking the pawn there, but he leaves this pawn which was protected by the queen. So black captures the material and the rook under threat, rook comes back. Queen comes out attacking this pawn here, so b6, out of an attack back on the bishop. Bishop moves back. That knight comes into play into the centre. Bishop g3. This is a mistake. He's going to lose a pawn. Queen comes to e3 with check. Realises he's lost a pawn. He just brings the bishop back. And white wins the pawn. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight. Knight was under the threat, so it's moved away. Knight comes up the board. Yeah, if, sorry, black, the black knight comes up the board. If, um, if you can get rid of the the bishop here on f2, these black squares will be quite weak. Rook moves to the file here, the f, f file. An exchange of bishop is actually good for black. Right, this is a combination. See if you can spot a winning combination for black. If you look at the position, um, all of black's pieces are coming in around the king. 
whereas whites, queen and bishop are really right out of play and can't get into the game. Queen can't move here, can't move here. Let's we'll say it's black's move and black to win. Okay, it's rook takes knight check. Rook takes rook is forced. Now the queen comes on to the black squares, checking the king. King has to go into the centre, otherwise it's mating two after queen. <coughs> knight checks, and he can't play rook takes knight because of queen e1 check, rook f1, and queen takes rook. So he has to play king move. Knight is double check, and you probably all know what's coming now, if not before. <laughs> the queen comes in check, he has to play rook takes, and then the knight, it's smothered mate. It was just nice to um, pull off in a game. Hope you enjoyed that.